Good day. I am Ali Meridona Biodon, the instructor for this session, and I'll be taking you through one of the important aspects of mathematics, which is trigonometry. Okay, here's the content, and here are the topics which I'll be treating in this session, in the ranging from the definition of trigonometry, the concept of right angle triangle, and uh, how angles are measured. Okay, we shall start from right angle to triangle. We know that a right angle triangle has a single right angle, and which means that all sides cannot be of the same length. Okay, looking at this diagram given here, we can see a little box at the corner here. Hope you can see this little box. It is this little box that is making us know that this particular triangle is right angled. You know, we have different types of triangle. We have a collateral triangle, we have a isosceles triangle, we have a scaling triangle, and the likes. So each triangle has a peculiar characteristics. So for this right angle triangle, what is making us to know this, that this particular triangle is a right angle triangle is to, it is this little box at the corner here. So for any right angle triangle, we have we, we have a given angle here, which is angle theta here. So for any given right angle triangle, the side facing the angle given. Here we are given theta, so the side facing the angle theta here is called the opposite. So the side in which the angle given here, the angle given here is theta. So the side in which the angle theta is sitting on here is called the adjacent, while the longest side is called the hypotenuse. Again, the side in which the angle is sitting on is called the adjacent, while the side facing the angle is called the opposite while the longest side is called the adjacent. I hope we understand. Okay? Then we need to understand how angles are measured. I hope we can see in this diagram. We can see the terminal arm, we can see the initial arm, and we can see the angle. Angles are formed by an initial side, uh, by an initial side and a terminal side. And angle is measured by the amount of rotation from the initial side to the terminal side. Okay? So angles can be measured in two ways. In degrees and radian. You know generally the angles are measured in degrees. That's what is common. But angles can also be measured in radian. And there's a relationship between degrees and radian. And we can convert from one to, uh, to the other. Okay? So which uh, that is we can convert from degree to radian and we can convert from radian to degree. You know, a circle is comprised of 360 degrees, which is called a, a revolution. You understand? That's in degrees. So in radian, one revolution equals to 2 pi. One revolution, that is 360, equals to 2 pi in radian. I hope you understand. Why this pi? In the pi is 3.1, is approximately 3.142. That is the 22 over 7. In the pi we commonly use in mensuration. Okay? Now, conversion between degrees and radian. So pi in radian equals to uh, pi, 180, pi in radian equals to 180 in degree. And 1 degree equals to pi over 180 in radian. And 1 radian equals to 180 over pi in degree. So here is the formula. Let me say, uh, here is the formula. Yes, here is the formula. So any, for you want to convert from degrees to radian, from radian back to degree, so here is the threshold. You just replacing it on this threshold. Okay, let's check some examples. Let's check, let's look at example one, for example one. So it converts 360 degree into radian. We know that pi in radian equals to 180 in degree. We know that, and one degree equals to pi over 180. Here we are conversing from degree back to radian. I hope we understand. So it will now be 60 multiplied by 1 in degree, multiplied by 1 in degree, as in multiplied by pi over 180. I hope you understand. So that will be 60 multiplied by pi over 180. So 60 multiplied by pi, that will be 60 pi over 180. So 160 divided by 180. So 60 in 61. So 60 in 180, that will be 3. So 1 times pi, that is pi. That's why we have pi over 3 in radian. I hope we understand. Okay, let's check example 3. In example 3, we are converting here, we are converting from radian back to degree. 
as you can see. So we are called, we want to convert three pi over two in radian into degree. So how do we go about this? We know that one grad, one one radian equals to one eighty over pi. So now three pi over two in radian back to degree will now be three pi over two multiplied by one eighty over pi which is equals to 3 pi multiplied by 180 which is equals to 540 pi and 2 multiplied by pi which is equals to 2 pi that's why we have 540 pi over 2 pi so pi will cancel pi in half that will be 540 divided by 2 which gives us 270 which means that 3 or 3 pi over 2 in radicals to 270 in degree i hope you understand so unit circle Unit circle in trigonometry is centered at the origin and always has a radius of one. So this concept, we understand this concept, um, it is used to understand in sine and cosines of angle found in right angle triangles. Uh, I hope you understand. So this we understand is better when we get to trigonometry ratios. Okay, in summary, you know, we discussed the definition of trigonometry being a branch of mathematics that deals with the measurement of sides and angles and their, and their relationship with each other and the application um, and the applications of trigonometry which can be applied, it can be applied in engineering and in sciences too. You know a right angle triangle has a single right angle of which the sides are not of the same length and we know that in trigonometry uh, there are two ways to measure angle which are in degrees and in gradients. I hope you understand. Okay, I have some task for you. So this is this is the, um, the first task. So you convert the following degree measures into radian. So you follow the examples we did. So you convert this to from this from degrees to radian. And this is the second task. You convert from radian back to degrees. So and um, here is the answer to the first task. So after solving. You check the answers whether you are correct and here are the answers to the second task too so you solve then you check the answers whether you are correct or not okay i hope you understand and you've taken you've gotten one or two things from today's lesson so thanks so much and have, uh, thanks so much if you have any question or for further inquiries you can contact us through our mail here i so say thanks so much and have a fruitful day.